once he goes and breaks on this receiver. You can see that separation there. It's about 10 yards. He just breaks outside. And he's just gone every single time as there's nothing that this uh, cornerback can do. As I don't have to make any adjustments, and you can see how this guy here just runs right past the defender. And you can see we get the same reaction, even with the safety over the top. It just runs right past the cornerback, giving me another easy throwing lane for another easy one-play touchdown, even though he's in double coverage. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back Money Team. I haven't made a Glitch Routes video for you guys in over a month or maybe two and that's because I haven't made a new ebook since the October patch. I just finished my brand new San Francisco 49ers ebook and when I lab an entire book like this I usually find a bunch of crazy new routes that beat man and zone that I just want to share with you guys. So in today's video every route will be found in the 49ers playbook and also in my ebook that I just put out. I'm working on the Ravens next so if you guys would like to see more Glitch Route videos like this when I'm done please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and if you want want more help you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top end comment now one of my favorite things about the 49ers playbook is that it has a lot of iform formations and to me running out of iform right now is one of the best ways to go including the iform close which is a formation that i've put out a lot of gameplays about so i'm going to start the video here because when i switch over to the niners playbook i'm going to be using this formation first before i integrate some of the other formations including formations like the y off close but there are two routes here that really are good when it comes to beating man coverage and zone coverage starting with the pa deep cross go on defense we're going to focus on man zero now this route can really get open against any man or zone at two different depths you can see right here it's going to get open if i run it from here at about a 20 yard depth but if i want to smart route this route it goes even further to about 30 yards so i can really run this play from anywhere as you can see this deep crossing route here is going to come open underneath uh, whatever the cornerback is doing but there's multiple ways to run this another way to run it would be this most this guy across and now all I got to do is shorten the X route because the X route is going to pull back a defender and give me a challenge when it comes to uh, trying to score but if I run it from here you can see it's going to get outside of that man coverage every single time and if I smart route it it's going to give me even more time to throw the ball so if I want this play to be a one play touchdown I'm just going to motion him across and put him on a smart route then I'm going to put the X route on something shorter just so he doesn't pull back a defender so that I don't have to worry about getting away from that defender once I catch the ball and you can see how this can easily be a one play touchdown from any man coverage whether it's cover one or cover zero one of the best things about the off from close in the Niners is it does have more plays than the typical formation that I've shown you guys out of the Denver Broncos. A lot more plays, rather, including some really good run plays, which I'll show you guys in gameplay videos pretty soon. But it also has the PA Titan Leak, which is a play that I showed you guys as a one-play touchdown against just about every defense in the game. But with no adjustments, it's a one-play touchdown against cover zero, which is what we're mostly focusing on. So let's go and let's pick that. This is another route that you can run as is with no adjustments, and you'll see how the B route here can beat his man defender across the field. But if I I want to make it a one play touchdown i just have to make that motion one more time so if i want to make this an easier one play touchdown i just have to motion this guy across and you're going to see how he gets open outside for a very easy catch and run once he goes and breaks on this receiver you can see that separation there's about 10 yards once i throw inside that break and then once again i just have to worry about the man defender on the other receiver so if i want to take care of that i just have to shorten that so that he's no longer going to be an issue and you'll see how this b route gets outside for a very easy one play touchdown with very consistent and lack of effort as you can see like i say he just breaks outside and he's just gone every single time as there's nothing that this uh, cornerback can do because because it's just designed to beat man coverage that way. Now, probably my favorite play or my favorite route that I'm going to show you guys today out of any of the plays I'm going to show you is out of the single back tight way off. And that's because this play has multiple one play touchdown capabilities against multiple defenses. And that play is the PA tight end leak. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. I'm going to start off with cover zero, but this works against every man coverage and some zone coverages. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that by starting off with the SS linebacker blitz again. The fade route that the X route is running is one of the best routes in the game. And I'm going to show you guys that against multiple defenses as i don't have to make any adjustments and you can see how this guy here just runs right past the defender for an easy lob it up one play touchdown the reason for this is simple anytime a route is programmed to the point where it runs right into the cornerback or the coverage defender that defender number one is going to lose his acceleration when he flips his hips but number two when my receiver runs into him he loses acceleration you can see when he runs into him that's the exact point where he gets past them so anytime you see a route like this that runs into the defender he's basically going to run right past them for an easy one play touchdown 
And this play has success against any man coverage. So we're going to pick cover one hole next. Again, it's just about every defense I'm going to show you. The only adjustment you have to make is putting the wire out on a streak. And that's because you need somebody to pull the safety back to get this X route open on the other side. As you can see, once again, we have that same throwing lane. And you can see we get the same reaction. Even with the safety over the top, the cornerback is going to lose acceleration when he flips his hips and when A.J. Brown runs into him as he runs right past him for another easy one-play touchdown. But we're not done there. So we're going to go out we're going to pick cover cover two man next going to make that same adjustment cover two man is typically a pressing style defense but you're going to notice how the x receiver doesn't really get pressed and just runs right past the cornerback giving me another easy throwing lane for another easy one play touchdown even though he's in double coverage and you can see it's the exact same thing he doesn't actually try to press him he just is too close and that's just going to make the win too easy for any receiver who has over 90 speed and that's not all there's one more defense that this works against and that's cover two zone with the exact same setup, just streaking the wire out to pull back the safety. You're going to see how this is probably the easiest defense they had a one-play touchdown against as we just get right past the safety to the outside for another easy one-play touchdown. Now, I've already showed you guys a one-play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game with very little to no adjustments except for cover four, and that play is the PA cross. This play here needs no adjustments, and it beats cover four drop contain, which is one of the hardest defenses in the game to hit a one-play touchdown against. For this play to work, all I have to do is run from a hash mark to the short side of the field and motion this receiver out so that the strong safety won't recognize him as he crosses into his side of the field. After that, you just have to buy a little time in the pocket, and you'll see how this X receiver, as long as you bullet and pass lead away from the two safeties can easily split the safeties down the center of the field and the reason for this is simple as these two safeties will typically split the field in half the motion is why the strong safety doesn't recognize what the other receiver is doing because he's too far away so he really only accounts for the two receivers crossing in front of his face and since they run short routes he really just falls asleep at the wheel and lets the post route get into his area before he realizes he's coming the last route I'm going to show you guys is out of the Debo package. Now, the route's not necessarily the glitchiest route in the world. It's going to be just a typical wheel route, which you can get out of either the mesh spot or the wide receiver wheel. But the best part about this is if you hit the right stick in your packages section, you can go to wide receiver one in the backfield. And that's going to put either your best or your fastest receiver at the running back spot to run this route. Now, AJ Brown is my best receiver, but if I'm gonna run this package, I'm really gonna to wanna to have my fastest receiver in that wide receiver number one spot. So now I have a 97 speed running back for all of these plays. And if I go back here, now you can see Quez Watkins is the featured back in this formation. So basically any run play, any pass play, he's going to be an absolute cheat code with his 97 speed. Now, one of the craziest things about this play is a lot of times the number one quarterback will still be aligned to the number one receiver. So the only adjustment you're really going to want to make is give yourself a little extra blocking with a check and release to the other running back. But after that, you can see how this cornerback is starting to play so far away that he really can't catch up with the receiver once the play starts. And that was actually a bad pass was the only reason that he actually had time to catch up. But you can see it's pretty consistent as he just runs this route and the cornerback is nowhere to be found until he's already up the field for an easy one play touchdown. If we watch the play, you can see this just isn't programmed correctly. Since I have my number one receiver in the backfield, the number one cornerback in Ladarius Sneed is going to try to match him, but he's so far away once the play starts that he really doesn't have a lot of chance to get over and stop the play before I get up the field and I'm going for an easy one play touchdown. This play can also have success against defenses like cover one as well. And pretty much the exact same way, but you're going to want to make sure to put the B route on a streak just to pull the uh, safety to that side of the field once again. And that will give you another opportunity, as this time we have a linebacker on my 97 speed receiver, making it almost impossible for him to even think about covering. Even if I pick a defense that has more cornerbacks like a dime, it's going to be the exact same way. As so I can do the exact same setup and Quez Watkins is going to burn him the exact same way because this is another route that runs into the cornerback if he's aligned properly. So that's that's the video. I do plan on putting out a lot of gameplay from the Niners, but if you guys want more Niners stuff, you need to check out my ebooks right now. Links in the description and the top end comment. Or I actually broke down a play from the Gun Bunch X Nasty on my second channel. A very good play called the Drive Wide Corner. Might be one of the better plays in the game so if you guys want to see that i'll have a link to that as well popping up on screen and other than that until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below